Hello, hello, and welcome back to Colorado. And today we're going to take care of the Watch Your Six challenge, which is basically kill Maya Pavati and Sean Rose with the Ram. And doing this, we will also get the Just Pointless challenge, which is to just kill Maya Pavati with the Ram. And since we're getting them both, we will get both the challenges. So we don't need to bring anything with us for this one except our trusty lockpick as usual. Uh, we will also get a couple of other little uh, discovery slash feats uh, along the way here. We will get uh, Tongue Tied, which is basically up the dosage of the prisoner's uh, medication or drugs or whatever they are. And we will also get the Mission Story Point Man. So, right from the start, off the bat, what we need to do is get ourselves into the farm via the open window area here. And we need to acquire ourselves a change of disguise as fast as we can. Because we are hostile absolutely everywhere here in our suit. This is probably the hardest mission of all, out of all the maps basically. This is the one I've struggled with personally the most. So what we're doing now is we're just waiting for that guy you can see over by the blast wall to finish his cigarette. He's going to move off and when he does we can make our way around. Turn off this generator, turn it back on again, make our way back to our little hidey spot. And when someone comes around to investigate we're going to knock them out and we're going to take their outfit. So here comes our unwitting suspect right now. So we're just gonna sneak up behind him, knock him out. We're gonna grab his gun, grab his body. We're gonna drag him into the crate behind us. Just over by our little shed where we gained entrance. Once he's in there, we're gonna drop the gun and we're gonna grab his outfit. So with our outfit acquired now we can move around quite freely through the farm area and we're going to make our way over to the water tower which is the great big metal cylinder you can see off in the distance and we're going to make our way into the building below the water tower and right to the back of the room where we will find ourselves a television and behind the television we will find some lethal poison. So with that in hand, we're now going to make our way into the uh, the uh, canteen sort of area and round to the greenhouse, which is just over to the left. And in the greenhouse, we will find a bottle on a table and a guard. And when the guard finishes his cigarette and starts to move away, just as he starts moving away, we're going to poison the bottle. So here he goes. As he takes his first step, we're going to poison the bottle very, very quickly, and he won't see us. So that is Penelope Greaves taken care of. So we're now going to go and take care of uh, Ezra Berg. So we're going to need once more a change of outfit. We're going to need the military elite disguise. So we're just going to wait for that guy you can see over my left shoulder there to move away. You will get nearly spotted for doing this. There are a couple of guys behind us as well who will see us. But it's these two guys in front of us we don't want to see us because they will spot you. So with our new outfit acquired, we're gonna make our way up the ramp and just to the right, up over the balcony and in through the window of the farmhouse. We aren't gonna go in through any of the doors because they're all cameraed. So once we're into the bedroom, we're going to run through the bedroom and round to the basement door, which is just below the stairs. And we're going to make our way down into the basement. And here we will find one guard. And if he's alone like he is now, we're just going to sneak up behind him real quick. We're going to knock him out. 
We're going to take his gun and we're going to grab his body and hide him in the crate over by the door. And now we're going to play the waiting game. So we're just going to go to the back of the room where the stairs are and we're going to get rid of this gun because we don't need it. And we're going to plug ourselves up at the foot of the stairs just by this crate and we're going to wait for the arrival of Ezra Berg and his bodyguard. And they're going to go through their little interrogation routine here. And once Ezra Berg leaves, or turns to leave, and his bodyguard starts to follow, we're going to sneak up behind his bodyguard and knock him out. So just as he's moving away now, we want to time this so Ezra is outside of the basement. And then we're going to pounce on the bodyguard, knock him out, grab his gun, grab his body, and hide him in the crate by the door. So that's everything now set up for the Ezra Berg kill. We're just going to drop this gun somewhere. Behind the boiler is probably the best place. And we're now going to plug ourselves up just by this pillar in front of the prisoner cell. And once again, we are going to wait the arrival of Ezra Berg. This can take a few minutes. But here he comes now. So all we're going to do is wait for him to get in position. He's going to turn and face the prisoner. And we are going to snap his neck. Ezra Berg has been eliminated. Good work, 47. So now we're just going to up the dosage here on this table and that I think kills the prisoner but I'm not entirely sure but it will definitely get you the tongue tied challenge. So with that now taken care of all we need to do is move on with the watch your six and the just pointless challenges and for this we are going to need once more a change of disguise. So we're going to exit the farmhouse exactly the same way we came in via the window just so we can avoid any cameras and we are going to make our way back to the water tower where we picked up the poison to take care of uh, Penelope Graves who has actually poisoned herself and died by this point. I didn't show it on camera here but it happened while we were waiting for Ezra Berg. So once we're in the shack underneath the water tower, we're going to make our way into the bathroom. We're going to turn on the water and overflow the sink and we want to catch that guy who's limping. And as you saw, we caught the attention of his friend. So we're just going to go through our routine of knocking him out. Grab his gun. And we're now going to wait for this guy up on the roof to move away from the stairs. Because if we throw this guy out the window now, the guy upstairs will see him. So when he moves away, we can then proceed to throw the body out of the window, follow him out. We're going to drag his body into this crate right here, drop the gun, we don't need that. Make our way back into the bathroom and overflow the sink again. Now this time we should get our man. Yep, we've got him this time. He is the only other guy in earshot. So if you don't get him the first time, you will get him the second time. And you just want to plug yourself up in the corner here, close the door once he's walked through, crouch, wait for him to turn off the sink, and then knock him out. And we're going to take his outfit. Now this guy is the only outfit we can use for this challenge. That's why we knocked the other guy out and got rid of him. It has to be the guy with the limp. His name is Burgess. So with his outfit now acquired, we're going to make our way over to or towards the big red barn and we're looking for Maya Pavati and we're going to go and find her and when we do, we're going to engage her in a short conversation. I'm back. Well, well, our very own punching bag. Any broken bones? Perfect. Wounded pride. That's all. Cross Good to hear. All right, notice. head over to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. So once she's sent us on our way, we're going to make our way into the big red barn and right over into the far corner where we will find a large screen and a table full of weapons. 
we are going to pick up the crowbar and we're going to sit down in the middle chair here and we're going to go through our little briefing process which is explaining what we're going to do next which is a smash and grab essentially uh, um, in the smash and grab we have four targets we have to eliminate and some documents to acquire all of which will now be explained by our target Maya Pavati alright people let's get to it Burgess is back we're finally ready to make this happen I expect you all to know this by heart but in case amnesia has set in Here's the sequence. Advance to the car with haste. Eliminate the passengers. Retrieve the briefcase. Extract. Got that? And remember, speed and accuracy is the name of the game. All right. Now go pick up your weapons and get in position. Move out. So with the briefing over, we are now going to reapproach the table and select a gun. And we're going to make our way around to the practice area I'm guessing you call it and then we're going to stand here next to the hydraulic ram and as you can see there is a limousine here with four crash test dummies in it one white one blue one yellow one red when the ram strikes the car we must shoot the four dummies and then open the rear door and extract the documents something like this hopefully your aim is slightly better than mine so with the four targets eliminated, we're going to open the back door, grab the briefcase, and just like in the training mission, we're going to hit the red button. So there we go, we've passed our training exercise. Maya is now going to give us a little speech. And once everybody has their back to us, we're going to turn off the safety on the RAM. And we're going to make our way over to the RAM control. We're going to crouch down and this guy is going to spot us now it's 50 50 whether he does or not for you depends where he is in his routine but he will spot me but you only have a few seconds to take this shot once sean rose moves into position like he just did there once they're both there stood there like that you send the ram at them and you'll kill them both nicely done 47 two flies with one swat Maya Parvati is down. Good work. And that will get you the Watch Your Six challenge and the Just Pointless challenge. So all we've got to do now is make our way to the exit. And I'm going to take the boat exit. So like I said, there is that one guy uh, who will possibly see you depending on where he is in his routine. He could have his back to you and you could get away with it. Unfortunately for me, when I was recording, he turned around and saw me. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.